How's it going everyone? The Trout91 here for a little video. What you've got here is me playing some game battles with a squad that I'm hopefully going to be going to Antipro with to play some competitive Call of Duty. And uh, this video is called Choke Central because there was a running joke with uh, Benny Central when he was playing competitive Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, that he couldn't ever clutch because he always failed his clutches and usually I'm pretty decent at doing my clutches But today was it just a bad day of clutching like I just could not get any luck like this guy last guy I managed to tag him up couldn't get the final bullet on him He gets away regens his health and he actually for some reason comes back and challenges me over pit And I just don't have the time to get to the bomb if the bomb was planted on the other side I would have managed to get to it but they were smart enough to fight on the other side, and unfortunately I could not get that clutch. It would have been a great clutch as well, because those two snipes, I really didn't expect to hit those, but did my best to try and hit them, and I did, and then just unfortunate on two occasions where I, the first time that guy challenged, I couldn't get him, and the second time just took too long to get him. So this is another situation on Terrace, where everyone's gone down. It's a 3v1 situation. This guy comes and challenges. I think he's trying to scout me out. I do somehow get the kill on him with a little bit of lag going in my favor. This guy tries to snipe me back off, but I managed to get the connections on him. And here I'm thinking he's got to be in bedroom or in yellow. And I drop down and little do I know, he's actually sitting behind me. So that was, it wasn't even a good position from him. It was just a fortunate position from him that he was in. I think he must have expected me to come and walk down that side alleyway, but I managed, I went for the jump over because I expected him, if they were pushing out that aggressive, for him to be sitting in one of the lower buildings in case I did come for a sneaky ninja defuse or something like that. Here's another situation, uh, it's 5-4 in this case, and we are looking to push the bomb onto A. Unfortunately for me, my two guys have actually gone and died, which is unfortunate. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to scout out, see if I can make the wrap around to B. Because with all of us around A, he must be expecting me to jump onto that A-bomb site. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to B, see if I can get this down. And I think I actually wait it out and see if I could play the bait wrap. Like, I expected him to think I would go for the wrap, which is why I'm sitting in this corner. I was like, he's going to come charging over to B. He must think I'm planting here. But no, he actually waited out. That's just kind of a prediction thing. There's nothing you can do about that. That's just how the game goes sometimes. And uh, I thought, you know what? I was tempted to wait it out a little bit longer, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to go for the plant. If I can hear him, he's probably going to be charging at me from somewhere. I do get the bomb down. I do spot him across. He's got an AR, so I need to be careful about poking out here, and I'm just playing my life. He jumps aggressively at me and uh, gets a shot on me. He then jumps again with a challenge, knowing that I'm weak, and hit fires me for the kill which I was really really aggravated about like the fact that he managed to hit fire me because it was one of the few bullets that actually connected and had he not hit me I probably would have jumped over the side and got away maybe regen health and approach that a little bit differently but it didn't go my way once again so here I actually managed to make this kill I think this is the one of the games I'm on host so <laughs> just host warrioring a couple of people but we get those two kills now we got one guy left and we know he's got to be green he's probably gonna push back onto orange I decide to climb the ladder so I don't give away my position in case he does get scared and back off early. But he does get approached by my teammate. He backs off into orange. Now here we should have really not challenged that. Like uh, Jack is, he shouldn't have pushed that. We both shouldn't have pushed it. We should have just had him sitting on the outskirts, making sure that he didn't push through green. And I should have gone for the diffuse, but it wasn't the best communication from us. Uh, I thought, you know what, I'll hit the Semtex on that, see if he does come orange, I expect him to come orange. He pushes green, I do get the kill, but because the bomb, once again, isn't in the right place, I can't get the crucial defuse, and unfortunately, I meet my demise to the bomb exploding. So it's really not going well, and these is, this is only from two or three GBs today that I've been playing. The rest of the time, we're playing pretty well, we're usually winning, and I'm usually clutching up when I need to, but... Um, Today was just not the case. It was a really, really difficult <laughs> for me. Well, it wasn't even difficult. I was making the clutches. I just didn't ran out of time, basically. Uh, I do get this one kill here. I'm looking for the other guy. I got the call out. He was in blue, so I was expecting him to go to blue. I didn't know which side we planted the bomb from. 
And because I didn't see the red light, I thought, oh, he must have planted it on the other side. And because I got the call, he was a blue, I was going to push a, in a couple of seconds and check it out. But he had already jumped on it, which is smart play from the other team, and it was unfortunate on my account. So we're in to this match again, 5-4, and they've got the bomb down. I know guy's gone into building three. This guy's in purple. I'm going to take him out, and I need to know where the other guy is. I know he's probably not going to be sitting in free building, or he's going to be at the bottom of the stairs, but I can't see him from this angle, so I need to try and cut him off and push him towards pur purple. Do get the challenge. Do get some bullets. He's going to re-challenge me because he knows that I'm going to catch him out in the snow. I do get the kill, and I actually managed to get here somehow... Don't get the defuse on this. Now, I don't know what's with the defuse timer, if there's still this d delay between you picking up the bomb or what, but for some reason, maybe I just missed it by literally a 0.1 seconds, but I didn't actually exo in the end in case I went over it, and I thought I definitely got enough time to get this. Uh, it's going to be bang on, like, 7.58 seconds, and apparently it takes longer than 7.5 to get the defuse according to that round and uh, I was really really annoyed by that because um, we ended up losing this map as a whole and we've actually got the final round coming up here as well as another fail just to add the misery compiler as Spencer would say um, so I'm sitting in blue I shouldn't have sat in blue really because our guys got flanked who was watching purple which meant that no one was watching his back. I actually land the melee here, pick up the IMR instinctively, realize it's got no bullets and I'm a little bit done for. Get the lucky Semtex stick. Now what really annoyed me about this is I got that Semtex stick and had I had bullets in my IMR, I would have probably backed off and tried to get some shots on the other guy because the other guy was actually weak. So this dude comes flying around here and we all meet in the middle here. So I was like a little bit confused how the other guy didn't die as well. It was really annoying. Like if it had been delayed a couple of seconds, he probably would have got exploded and died. But that's that. So here we are on Solar. This is the map after that last one. It's 2v3 at this point. I didn't actually know it was 2v3. I thought we had got a kill somewhere. I managed to skate with my life there. I knew this guy's probably got an IMR or a sniper based on how they were playing in the previous round. So I thought, okay, I can definitely challenge this and get the kill. So here I'm thinking it's a 1v1 situation. I expect them to challenge me. They know I've got to be a glass. So I'm either going to wrap round so they would back off or they're going to push up glass and try and catch, cut me off, maybe pinch me uh, in my spawn. So I hang around, wait to see if I can see something. Taking it very easy. I actually got some aim assist there. I saw something move. I managed to get that guy. Now I thought that was the last guy, which is why I backed off here. And I thought, oh no, it's not the last guy, is it? So I've got to plant the bomb. And this guy knows I'm around here, he knows I don't have enough time to wrap around, and the IMR just about kills me. I was annoyed at this as well, because I thought I managed to get the kill, I thought I had the final bullet. I think I was literally one bullet off killing this guy, and it's just another... It, it's kind of a silly thing on my own awareness, but also just unlucky that he managed to land the IMR bullets that he needed to, and I was literally one bullet off landing it to make the 3v1 clutch. But yeah, that was my day on this game. Uh, it sucked. I'm going to show you a nice little ace. Uh, we are playing 3v3s at the moment. We usually play 4v4s, obviously, but one of our guys wasn't on tonight or whenever you're watching this. It'll be a Monday, so it'll be yesterday. So I thought I'd show you this just to show that I actually know what I am talking about in some capacity. So usually I, they'll push A on their first round, so I go to fire to check it out. Catch one out of guard. This guy challenges up A Street because they're pretty much committed at that point. I do get the kill, and I heard that the guy was in lower L. I pushed towards mid, expecting him to cut through onto the catwalk in the mid, and because I ducked behind the, the stairs, he had no idea I was there, and I got a pretty easy kill just by anticipating where he was. But, yeah, that's me playing some GBs. I've obviously got some clutches saved up, and I've got some... Well, I'm trying to get some good gameplays, but I don't really know what counts as a good GB gameplay for Search and Destroy and stuff like that uh, at a competitive level. So I guess you guys would have to let me know if you wanted to see some of that. I am thinking about streaming it, but sometimes streaming game battles can be a little bit, I don't know, hit and miss. Especially because I'm not known for my competitive gaming aspect. I think also because there's downtime in between. I'm not there to so much entertain you and act silly and goofy. I'm there to kind of like win and act hard and like a GB warrior <laughs> but anyway if you want to see some more GB stuff or you want to see me live stream some GB stuff do let me know uh, I'm playing a lot of Call of Duty at the moment which is why I'm not really uploading much else I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later peace out